what's up YouTube? It's your boy Eric Stacks from My Rap Mentor. And for those who don't know me, I'm a rapper, rap coach, and radio host. I specialize in teaching rappers how to rap, build fans, and make money. But today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys three simple ways to write a catchy rap flow right after the intro. Be up in here, ah. young and trill. Roll around with my posse stacking bills. Fucking all of these hotties on the real My girlfriend, she hated how I live She say she riding still She know I'm young and shrill Now, before we start don't forget to subscribe slash hit the notification bell. Also, follow your boy on IG. I'm gonna put the information at the bottom of the screen. Now, for those who don't know what a hook or a course is, a hook or a course is the four to eight bar part that's repeated after each verse. The importance of a hook is to be rememberable. The more rememberable the hook is, the greater the chances that the listener will come back to your song and learn the rest of the verses. Now, without further ado, Tip number one, loop the catchiest part of the verse. Now that's a strategy I wish I've done at the beginning of my rap career. That probably could have saved me tons and tons of songs that I end up not using. Now, how you implement the strategy is, you take the catchiest four parts, well, four bars from the verse. You can either put it in the studio, add auto-tune or add a vocal effect, or you can say it in different pitches, different voice reflections to give it a different flair from the verse. Now, two artists that are really good at implementing that technique would be T Grizzly and The Baby. And I'm going to put two songs down below that will give an example on how to use the technique. Tip number 2, take the catchiest part from an unfinished verse then add it to the new beat. Tip number 2 is much like tip number 1. The only difference is you will take the catchiest part from an old verse then you'll try to change the rhythm or the words to fit the new beat. So, for example, if you had an old bar in your verse that said, money on my mind, money on my mental, you will try to take that bar and you will say it in different pitches to try to figure out which one fits the beat the best. So, for example, you will say, money on my mind, money on my mental, money on my mind, money on my mental, money on my mind, money on my mental, and you will keep switching words and rhythms until you pick the best one that suits the beat. Tip number three, scat to the beat. Now, if you don't know what scatting to the beat mean, it's pretty much when you take nonsense words, nonsense melodies, and nonsense flows to lay the foundation for your lyrics. So, for example, if you came up with the melody, na na na, na 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 na, na 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 na, you will go back and then you'll put in real words like, I get dope, I get, I get dope, I get, I get dope. And that's just a quick example on how to scat. Now, if you want more detail on how to scat, I made a whole video on that concept. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. Now, before we go, don't forget to subscribe slash hit the notification bell. Also, follow your boy on IG and show your boy some love by liking and commenting. Let's help each other grow. Peace.